y'all and welcome back to another video today we are going to be going out squish hunting to several different locations i'm hoping to find some new squish i haven't seen in person yet so let's just get right to it starting off squish hunting today we went to hallmark and looking in the windows i couldn't believe they were fully stocked with the new hooded buddies and so many other squish they had the sonic squad all three of the members right here and they were 8 inches for $19.99. They also had the Godzilla series. Look how sparkly this one is. I love that. And these were a little bit more expensive at $24.99 for the 8 inch. And for the slightly bigger size, $39.99, which I believe was a 12 inch. And look how cute Godzilla is. I just thought he was so adorable and derpy. And I really loved the moth one. Look how cool those wings are, and I just love the eyes and everything about this one. Also, they had these new flip mallows. They were huge. I think 16 inch maybe, could have been 12, but just huge flip mallow food squad members that I've never seen before. Let me know if you've seen these out before in a huge size like this. They had the 8 inch hooded buddies. They were $19.99. I was so tempted to get Gordon because he is so, so cute. They had a panda and they had this turtle. I just thought this was such an adorable idea. The hoodie is detachable from the head so you can actually like put the hood down and up, which I thought was a really good idea. These strings don't really do anything, but I think they're a cool touch. And again, the bigger one was a little bit more expensive. Going back to the Sonic Squad, I just wanted to show y'all that inside the tags, there are no bio on any of these as there usually isn't on the licensed squish like this. So just know you're not getting a bio if that's something you look for when buying Squish for your collection. They also had some Squish with words on them, some tins, some mystery bags, and just miscellaneous Squish in general. I am trying to be very selective of my collection right now, so I did pass on these. Okay, so we are leaving Hallmark now, and although they had some really cool squish, some super cute ones, none I really needed for the collection. Hopefully, eventually, they make those in a 5-inch or clip size, and I would totally buy them. Next up, we are back at Walgreens because they are always getting new squish in constantly. Going down the aisle, there was a worker with this cart, and she let us check the cart and something caught my eye and it was this amy easter chicken stackable so fingers crossed that meant there was more easter squish to find i saw all these leftover five inch valentine squish as well as so many other different valentine squish that they've came out with this year The neutral squish are always my favorite, so this little fuzzy guy, Aaron, really caught my eye. My boyfriend came down the aisle and shocked me. He had two squish in his hand. Peter the pig, super, super cute with the nice floral belly and the pink color. And then you have Pammy with the purple lavender spots, also a piggy. And they do have those little curly tails. Going down that aisle, they had even more Easter squish, and again, it's January, so it's kind of crazy. They had Lana, another stackable, as well as Ty, who is a sugar glider with Easter ears. This really cute color bunny blue pastel with glitter ears. They also had the Mickey Mouse holding an Easter egg. And the bunny we've seen at Cracker Barrel, woo, but in a bigger size. Mm -hmm. 
they also had these mystery bags as well which i feel like i've seen these forever and ever and some of the leftover valentine's clips so off to the next stop we go and i usually never go to this store which is cvs because they never have anything but i said why not test my luck and i'm glad i did because they were actually fully stocked on valentine squish i've never seen so many squish mallows at a cvs they had the Valentine's Peanut Squad, super cute to see, and again, no bios on these guys. And Woodstock over here, super cute, as well as Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And these were 8 inch, priced at $14.99, not too bad. Behind these, they had another Valentine Squad. They had this boba tea, and the boba on the bottom, actually some of them were little hearts, which I thought was a really nice touch. They had a smaller cactus that I've seen in a bigger form at Walgreens. And they also had this Pixar alien Valentine squish. Continuing looking, I also found this narwhal. I'll buy them lonesome. Not my aesthetic, but it was cool to see in person. I believe they were a 12 inch and $14.99. Then I noticed there was a bee kind of hidden by these other plush. Super cute. I love the little heart cheeks. It was so cool to see all of those, but I didn't get any. So next stop was Claire's. I was hoping to see some new squish and some more stock from them, but it was really disappointing. They had a Claire's exclusive, this rainbow fish that I've seen before, and some accessories. The nails and lip balm were pretty cute, but I didn't need them and there was nothing I was really looking for, so I did have to leave empty handed. I decided to check Five Below since I haven't been here in a while because there's been no squish events, but all they had were squish filling cards, not even trading cards or the little mystery ones. Right across from the street from here was Books A Million, so I thought why not give it a look. I was hoping to find those giant squish they usually have. Although they ended up having none of those, they did have this little Squishville set that I have seen at GameStop before, but it was cool to see here. It was a little pricey though at $36.99. As well as that, they had some Squishums at $7.99 and these are the Series 1. Nothing that I needed or wanted here, so off to our last stop being Hobby Lobby. A very weird location I know, but they do carry squish as well as accessories sometimes. Going right in, I did find this camp pouch. I do already have it, but it was $11.99 here. I was super tempted by this little push pin with all these different colors. The price, $3.49, I feel like that's very fair, and it was super, super cute. And beneath that, they had this Winston the Owl notebook journal. It was super soft and fuzzy, and I feel like really nice quality, but I know I wouldn't really get any use out of it. And it was priced at $12.99. With further looking in the store, they did have these little book bags, Winston the Owl and Hans the Hedgehog at $17.99. Super cute and soft, and if you want to see what it looks like testing it out, here it is. Nothing here for us though, so I didn't get anything. All right, y'all, so that's it for today's video. If you've made it this far, please let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite thing I found today. Would you have picked anything up? Please let me know. Also, do you prefer the voiceover style videos or do you like me filming in the stores, in person, talking in the stores? Sometimes I have to do the voiceovers because the music in the store is too loud, but let me know which one you prefer because I love hearing your opinion. That being said though, until the next video, we will see you all next time. Bye.